is KXAN News at 6. Time has come. Football is back in about an hour. Fans will be cheering on the Longhorns in the season opener. The return of college football couldn't come soon enough. Good evening. I'm Erin Cargyle in for David Scott tonight. Some tailgaters have been out all day ahead of the big kickoff against Wyoming. The start of football season has been the talk of the town today. So we have team coverage. KXAN's Omar Lewis is live at the Longhorn Network watch party at Republic Square Park. And of course, our Roger Wallace is up in the press box getting ready for the radio broadcast. But first, Chris Tavares is live inside D. KR Stadium where fans are starting to file in. Chris, how's it going out there? Yeah, it's going great out here, Aaron. Fans, like you said, starting to pile inside the stadium, and they're excited because Texas football is finally back, and that's a good thing because they haven't had too much to be excited about the past two years, going just to combine 13 and 12. Now, Mac Brown feels like this team deserves to be atop the Big 12, and for them to get back there, they're going to have to have a big year this year, but fortunately for Brown, he's liked what he's seen leading up to today. This team so far has been fun, and, and they've really wanted to please the coaches. They, they, they want to please each other, and, and we're excited about what we see for Saturday night. We're all really excited. Um, I'm sure the fans are really excited because I know the players and the coaches are. And we've been looking forward to this day for a long time. You know, everything is just kind of hyped up right now. I think there's a, there's a buzz in the air, and everybody's just really excited. We put in the work during the week. And on the weekends, it's all fun. And so uh, winning is fun, and we'll be doing a lot of that this year, hopefully. Yeah, Texas certainly has done a lot of winning in its season openers, going 13-1 and under Mack Brown in the first game of the year, and 12 straight. They'll try to make it 13 in a row tonight against Wyoming. We'll have a little bit more for you, including hearing from Roger Wallace in the press box later on in sports. But for now, we're live at Royal Texas Memorial Stadium. Chris Tavares, KXAN News. Thanks, Chris. Of course, the true college football experience began several hours ago for many fans. Some of the most dedicated tailgaters have camped out since last night and early this morning. Needless to say, there was plenty of food, drinks, and games to go around. We asked fans what the tailgating tradition means to them. First game of the season, you can't beat it. First tailgate. I haven't seen these guys in, uh, what, like nine months? We don't, we don't see each other except for tailgates. Hook them horns. Uh, about about 6 a.m. Yeah. We get up pretty early to start this thing, and uh, it's a serious commitment. But once we're willing to all make it, it's a, uh, it's a treasured event. Dedicated fans right there. Even if you don't have a ticket, watching on TV can be just as fun. And this year, more people can tune in. This week, we learned the Longhorn Network, which will broadcast UT's first two games this season, will now be on AT&T's U-verse, meaning about 12% of homes in our area can watch the games. But there are other options. Omar Lewis is live at Republic Square Park, where the network is hosting a watch party tonight Good on evening, the big Aaron, screen. This Omar. party is just getting started here. At the anticipation is building for that 7 o'clock kickoff. It's the first game of the season for UT and here at Republic Square Park downtown. The Longhorn Network is inviting the community to come out and watch the game on this big screen TV. As you can see, folks are just getting pulled in here. They're reaching out to UT fans with the goal of increasing their viewership. Just last week, the network was added to AT&T U-verse, allowing more families to get the games at home. Now, APD is also on hand here at this event, and they're expecting the uh, traffic to be affected here downtown. As we said, the game kicks off at 7, and so if you aren't able to get the Longhorn Network at home, this is a great spot to come out and check it out for free. There's still plenty of time to join us here at the corner of Guadalupe and Ford Street. For now, we're live downtown. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. Thanks a lot, Omar. And if you're out enjoying the football games, we'd love to see your tailgate or watch party photos. There's one right there. You can send them through reported at kxan.com or on our smartphone app. Well, meanwhile,